joining us for this live session. We shall be streaming live on YouTube. As for you, you keep following on Zoom. And uh, as usual, we start with the opening prayer. I will request one of you to lead us in the opening prayer. Then we shall get to learn. Let me have William to lead in the opening prayer. Yes, William, your hand is up. May you please stand Yes. Me? Yes, William, do you have a question have or you to... want to lead us in the opening prayer? I want to lead in the opening prayer. This is so good. May you please go ahead. Oh, God, we thank you for this class. We th please guide us in the work you're going to give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, William, for leading us in the opening prayer. Yeah, friends, it is always good to start everything you do with God. Make it your culture to start everything you do with God. Always have a minute to spare and talk to God in a prayer. Call upon the Holy Spirit to be with you, to guide you, because when Jesus was leaving, he said that he's going to send us a helper. So when he left, he sent the Holy Spirit always to guide us. That is why even in this session, we have started with an opening prayer. I want to tell you this e-learning program is brought to us by Edify Uganda. This is the organization that is funding this program. And the theme of Edify Uganda for this year says, every child deserves to learn and flourish. We thank so much the team from Edify Uganda for giving us this opportunity to once again learn from wherever we are. We even continue to pray for the donors of Edify Uganda as well as Edify International, that may the Almighty God bless each and every one. Edify Uganda works with other partner organizations to see that this lesson is a success. Among those other partner organizations, we have Christian School Owners Association. This is another organization that does a great work of, of mobilizing. The whole organization was done by the Christian School Owners Association. Then um, ITAO, that is ICT Teachers Association of Uganda, takes up the role of implementing the program. So we are so grateful about the three organizations. My name once again is Teacher Joel Malma, I'm working with my admin, Mr. Wamono Mike, to see that everything goes well. We thank you also for joining, because without you, we would have no work here. But your presence gives us that urge to also keep on providing the services as we always do. So for that matter, therefore, I want us to move to the next page. And there, I want to tell you which class is this. According to the timetable, it reads Primal 2 English with teacher Joel Malma, the one talking to you. And in our lesson today, we need to look at vocabulary about common plants. There we shall look at some new words which we use when talking about uh, common plants. So before we get to this, uh, okay, my numbers are down there. Some parents might be new or some learners whereby you have lots of questions 
regarding this program. I'm here as the ambassador of the three organizations. I will be in position to answer some questions from you. Where I fail, I will see how to refer you. However, we have the WhatsApp group where we share general information. So you can as well get to the chat room very soon in a few minutes or seconds. We shall get the link which can help us join the WhatsApp group for Primal 2 if you are new. Together with that link of the Christian School Owners Association, it's the website where you will find everything that you may need to know. But for a meantime, you can have my number written down or the email address. You can use it to reach on to me for more help in case we are no longer online just as now. So I want to look at the lesson competencies for today's lesson. Here I mean, what can you do by the end of the lesson? So we come up with our targets. You as a learner, look at yourself and ask, what are you going to benefit from this lesson? So these are the targets that should come up with your benefits. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to read at least the four new words correctly. Among the new words we are going to look at, you should be able to read at least the four out of the list. Then spell at least the four learned words correctly. If asked to spell, can you do so? That is another target. Then lastly, use at least two learned words in a sentence. There we go. So these are some of our targets in today's lesson. In the chat room, the links I've been talking about have started to drop in. So before we start writing or before we start learning, I request you, it is going to take you just a few seconds to join Google Classroom, to join WhatsApp group. Then for the website, that one you can check later. So having looked at the targets, let's first make corrections for activity of lesson two. This is the activity which we had last time, that is last week on Wednesday like today. So number one was, okay, uh, instructions were, were saying, write the plural form. Still, we looked at new words and among them, we had mosquito. So the plural form of mosquito is mosquitoes. In case you failed, make correction. Look at what you wrote there. If it's not this, then using your pen pencil, you may write the correct answer aside. Number two was house flag. And the plural form is house flies. Plural, I mean when the items are more than one. Then number three, we had cockroach. Then plural form is cockroaches. That is how we write the plural form. In case you fail, make correction. Then we look at the last two questions with the instruction saying, complete the sentence with a suitable word. So it means we had a dash and you had to look for a suitable word. Good enough, these words we had learned about them. So number four says, the dash provide us with the hand. So what provides us with the hand? That is, these. So that is the correct word. Then number five, dash spread disease germs which cause malaria. So among the common insects that we looked at, what causes or what spread disease germs which causes malaria? And those were mosquitoes. So please make correction, then we move on. Some other friends, were writing their um, house flies. That one I crossed it. It is not house flies, but it is mosquitoes that 
spread disease germs which cause malaria. I guess you are done with this. I would like us to get to what we are supposed to learn today. I see some hands are up. I don't know what could be the concerns. I think let me listen to a few hands, then we, we move on. So I would like to start with uh, Jesse Elijah. Let me hear from Jesse. Oh, sorry, sorry. I will again lower the hand. Okay. Uh, Makai, Makai, Matthew. Jesse, you may raise up your hand again. Makai? Yes, teacher. Yes, I see your hand is up. Do you have a question? I wanted to just do the closing prayer when it's all, almost over. Okay, okay. Let me take note of you. I will not forget. Makai, Matthew. Okay, thank you for submitting in your request. I will please get back to you. Okay, okay teacher. All right. Um, let me hear from Daisy. Yes, Daisy, may you please unmute? Then Chitiba Chloe, I will get back to you. Be getting ready. Teacher. Yes, yes, Daisy. Teacher, I want to pray for the next for the next lesson. Okay. For the Okay, another but that, lesson. another lesson. It's okay. Thank you so much. I've taken note of that. Next time you'll be the one to pray. Okay, that has been Daisy. Um, okay, all right, all right. I think these hands, everyone wants to pray. Let me hear from Junior and Isaiah. Yes, Junior and Isaiah. We are going to pray on Friday. You are going to pray on Friday? Okay, yes, thank, thank you so much. This is so wonderful to see that everyone wants to lead in that prayer. This is so good. God is doing great work in you. I see how people have that urge the thirsty of the praying. Thank you so much, everyone, for showing interest. We shall have that time together with you. But for now, we shall have Makai with uh, Matthew to lead in the closing prayer. Then in the next lesson, I shall see how to consider you also. Now, I've stopped attending to hands which are up. Let us get to the lesson of today. So we shall begin with writing date. Today is Wednesday, 22nd of September, 2021. Let's have date written in our books. Let's have date written in our books for today's lesson. Today is Wednesday, 22nd, September, 2021. Then we need to look at common plants. So we shall have this heading written in our books. Common plants. Are we there? Then as I told you earlier, we shall look at my words or new words. They may not be new. So for me, I'm calling them my words for today. You can also have this, then we start looking at some of them. We are going to learn how to read them, making the correct pronunciation, look at them very well to get the correct spelling. Then after that, we shall use the same words in a sentence, word by word. Though time may not allow us to do so, we may have that individual after the lesson. What is most important is you to get to know how to read the word 
how to spell it, writing the correct spelling, then using it in a sentence. Actually, even understanding what it means. So I guess you have finished. We need to look at these words we use when talking about common plants. The first word is bean. I repeat, you may also say after me, bean. When I talk about bean, I mean that crop, which we know very well that is commonly used at home as sauce. The plural form of bean is beans. This is a food crop. Those in boarding schools who were in boarding schools before COVID, you know very well. <laughs> the source at the school in most cases is beans. So that is the word. I will engage you later. Let's first get to listen and learn how to read them with the correct spelling as I give a little explanation. My next <laughs> word is rice. Rice. Rice is also a food crop. We shall see it very soon. Let's first get to learn how to read. Look at the correct spelling of that word as I explain what it means. So we have bean. Next, we have rice. Next is maize. Maize. Maize is also a food crop where we get maize flour and have the what we know as posho, that food. It's commonly fed in schools. I believe this is not new and in some homes depending upon the region where you are, we use them. So they are not really new words, but they are our words for today. Next, I have millet. Millet. Millet is also another food crop. We are going to have a pick of each of these ones. We shall look at them very well. In your area, if millet is not your traditional food, you are going to have the opportunity to see how it looks like. Then those people in Northern Uganda, at least millet is not new to you. Next is sunflower. Say after me, sunflower. Are we together, class? Sunflower is also a crop in which we get cooking oil. Actually, this cooking oil is very good, but expensive. You can find it in shops and supermarkets. Sunflower, we shall see how it looks like. But just like from the word, if I ask you to make for me small words from this big word of sunflower, the first two words to get, we have sun. Let me try to highlight this. Uh, we have this one. Okay, here like this. So that is sun. Then the one I have left aside, flower. So we get this too. So it is a crop which puts on a flower that resembles a sun. It has even those colors, yellow. Okay, so there we are. We get a point. That is sunflower. Another 
another word that we can look at is here. Popo. Popo. That word is read as popo. This is a fruit. I was once in Karitum uh, and they could call it papaya. So, in the case that is how you pronounce it in your local language, in English is popo. We shall look at how it looks like. This is also a common fruit, which is good, rich in vitamins. Next word is, now this word, we have two ways of reading it. We have our African way, and then <laughs> we have the foreign way. For us as Africans, we know it as tomato, tomato. But again, our friends from America, Britain and other countries, they pronounce it as tomato, tomato. So I don't know, according to you, the first time you came across this word, how did you perceive its pronunciation? You are free to read it as tomato or tomato, both are correct. The plural form is tomatoes, that is the African way, or tomatoes. We shall look at how we can write the plural form. Next, we have orange. Repeat after me, orange. So an orange is also a fruit which is rich in vitamin C. It's yellow in color. We shall have a look at an orange or an orange tree. We shall see them very well. I believe it's not your first time to see an orange or to hear about it. But in today's lesson, our target is by the end of this lesson, can we write these words correctly? Supposing I, I take them away and ask you to spell, are you in a position to spell these words? That is my, my second target. And the third target is you being in position to use the word in a sentence. So friends, be remembering our targets. Allow me to bring another word, and that is pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin is also a food crop very rich in zinc. In case you have a problem of forgetting, you need to start eating pumpkins. This is also a food crop, satula, and a little bit bigger in size. We shall have a look at it. Finally, allow me talk about ground nuts, ground nuts. Some of us, we call it G nuts in a simple way. You can say G nuts, but in full, it's ground nuts. These are nuts, but we find them in the underground, let me say underground, in the soil. But we have other nuts, which are found on a tree we have different types. So the one I'm talking about is the ground nuts. When you get to the market or to the <laughs> shops and spam market, you will find all these there. Are we together friends? So now, these are our words for today. 
now uh, okay we may have them written and then after that we look at them one by one one by one okay yeah but i don't think we need to write them what was most important was you to look at the word learn how to read it and get the correct spelling so now i want to move on to the next page where we need where i need to hear from you and here i've got the pictures of these plants so here now i would like you i would like you to come in and share with me okay the in the first picture which plant is that hey look at them soon i'm going to select okay yeah my admin i've got your points it's okay there's no problem everything is moving on well yeah in that silence sorry about that now we go ahead so here we have the plants let me get to my people here whose hands are up okay let me use here now in the first picture what do we see i need to hear from a call and sanantas this is your first time i give you this opportunity a call may you please unmute Yes, tell us. In the I need first, a second. You know the second? Yes. Uh -huh. Let's first look at it. the one you don't know. We have the first one. What do you think are those? In the first page. Wait a minute. The call? Yes. In the first picture, what are those? The one with the ready pods beans mama uta tika pan beans echo yes in which district are you soroti soroti you are in soroti yeah okay that is so good in soroti do we grow this type of uh, of food crops yes yes Okay, so what is that? Beans. Oh, this is so good. They are beans. May you please spell for us the word beans? M B B E A N. Okay, thank you. You missed out on the letter S. Beans. Thank you, Echo. All the way from Soros. Thank you, Beans. Aha. So, friends, that has been Echo from Soros. We have beans. This is how they look like when they are still fresh in the garden. Now, the second one. I get another person. Ah, uh, Kakembo Innocent. Oh, these are all boys. I'm get I will get back to girls. I'm gender sensitive by the way. Let's first hear from Kakembo Innocent. Yes. In the second picture, which right. food crop? Okay. Yeah. Which food crop is that? Innocent. It seems your network is breaking. Innocent. Rice. Innocent. Yes. Good. This is rice. May you spell the word rice? May you spell the word rice? I. C. Yes. 
Sí. Okay, that is the one. Thank okay. you so much. That is the one. So we don't have plural form of the word rice. It remains it remains the rice whether in the singular form or plural. Okay. I've done with the echoes. I've finished muting the person who had echoes. Okay, there we are. I get to girls. Girls, we need to see in the second, sorry, in the third, what is that? We've been looking at the at the words. Now we look at the picture with the word. Let's get Jasmine. Jasmine. You are new on my side. Tell us what is in the third picture. The third picture. Yes. It it maze. Good. You've got it. This is maze. Now, may you please spell for us the word maze? It's M. Okay. A. Yes. I. Okay. And C. Yes. And E. Good. That is maze. When spelling, we have M, A, I, C, E. The word is maze. Friends, let's look at the color of maize. Are you seeing its color? Is it white? Is it blue? Is it red? Take note of the color of each of the food crops. These are common plants. We should be knowing them very well. When you look at beans, the pods are red. Okay, the pods are red in color. Oh, pink, you may take in, but it has dots which are white. Then when we come to the seed, you will get on the market and see, we have beans in different colors. Then when it comes to rice, the real seed is white, but now when it is still in the garden, you see when it has reached harvesting time, it turns from green, to something like brown or something like gray. The color is in between there. So green, are we together? Then maize, when at this stage it is green, but the seed is white. However, we have, we have other types which are yellow. Those other types, they are good for purple corn. There we are. Next, I need now to open another page. We have these ones. Let's identify these plants. In the first place, someone is going to tell us, what is that? Which plant is that? In the second picture and in the third picture, I get another girl. There, I need to get to, um, let me check uh, new people. I want to give you opportunity. I need to give opportunity to new people. Let's hear from Mary, Mary uh, Elvania. Let me hope that is how that name is read. Mary. Yes, Mary. Hello? Yes. What is your second name? How do you pronounce your second name? Elvania. Elvania. Okay, this is so good. I'm with Mary Elvania. In which district are you? Wakiso. 
<laughs> you are in Wakiso or you are in Kampala or fine, whatever it might be now. I know this food crop in the picture one is not commonly used in Kampala here, but is common in Northern Uganda. What do you think it is in the first picture? Mary? Yes? What is this in the first picture? What can I write here where you see my cursor? I know the middle one and the last one. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we are learning. I want you to get to know the first one also. What do you think it is? Uh-huh. Wow. There we are. So the second one, what is that? Sunflowers. Wonderful. This is sunflower. Thank you so much. But before we get to sunflower, let's first get to the first one. Now I choose a boy to help us name the first one. Now I get to I get to there is Ian Twero. Ian Twero, this is my first time to see you. I need to give you this opportunity. You feel in class. Ian. Ian? Yes. In which district are you? Lira. You are in Lira. Very good. You must be knowing this plant in the first picture. Is this your first time to learn with us? No. Okay, so in the first picture, which food crop is that? Or which plant is that? Millet. Millet plant. Millet. Yeah, this is millet. May you please spell the word millet? M. Okay. I. L. D. Okay. Thank you for trying, but that is not the correct spelling. Can I give you one more chance? M I L L E T Wonderful. You've got it. Millet. Millet is M-I-L-L-E-T. The word is millet. This is a traditional food for our brothers and sisters in northern Uganda and some other places. They enjoy millet bread. Thank you so much, Ian Trero, all the way from Lira City. Then we had Mary Elvania. She never knew how, uh, she never knew this. Mary, I hope now you've learned this is millet. Then in the second, we have sunflower. That is what Mary said. And that is the spelling of sunflower. Now, lastly, I need to get to a girl. Uh, Fernando, is Fernando a girl or a boy? Anyway, since my eyes have chosen you, whether you are a girl or a boy, we need to hear from you. Then you tell us in the third picture, what is that? Fernando? Fernando? I'm waiting for you. Oh, I can't hear from Fernando. Let me get to Pachiki. Is this? Pachiki, yes, Pachiki and the Shantanu. <laughs> wow, this is so great. I don't know if I've pronounced your names very well. Otherwise, I need to hear from you. Pachiki and the Shantanu. Are you there? How do you pronounce these names? Hello? <laughs> 
Hello. You are unmuted. May you please talk to us? The whole class is listening to you. Who is this? How do you read your name? Are you Pachiki? Am I making the correct pronunciation? Teacher. Yes, please. Yes, teacher. Yes. How do you read your names? These two names I'm seeing here. Puchki. Puchki. Oh, Puchki. <laughs> yes. This is so good. What about the second name? Shantan. 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 Okay, that is so good. Are you a Ugandan? Yes. Yes. Okay. In which district are you? Mbalala. Kiyanja. Mbalala district. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes. Now, our question yes. is about the third picture. Which plant is this? And you have it there in Mbarara? Popo. Good. This yes. is Popo. And the plural form is Popos. May you please spell the word Popo, one of you? P. P. O. K. R P A W. Oh, P. thank you for trying, but it's not correct. I give you one more chance. The word popo. P P A W P A W. Correct. There we are. That is popo. Thank you so much, Puchik and Shantna. All the way from Mbarara. Okay, friends, let's move on. Uh, sorry, I know I see very many of you have tried to put up your hands, but I'm trying to consider those ones whom I have never given this opportunity to share with us. So I know one time I shall get back to you, but allow me, let everyone feel in a class uh, to hear from the teacher. Okay, um, let's get to Henry. Henry, look at, look at the first picture. What is that? Tomato. Good. These are tomatoes. In which district are you? Wakiso district. You are in Wakiso. Wow, this is so good. May you please spell for us the word tomato? T. Go ahead. A. M A T O E S. Okay. Tomatoes. This is so good. Thank you so much, Henry from Wakiso. Yes, friends. I believe this is very common. Get take uh, take note of the correct spelling in the plural form. At first, in a singular, it is a tomato. That is the African red. Then for the European way, we can read it as tomato. Tomato. Then plural form, we can say tomatoes. But if you prefer the other one, is tomatoes. Tomatoes, are we together class? There we are. Next, we have that picture in the middle. Which plant is this? Let me get to Melan Chilabo. Melan Chilabo, may you please unmute. Tell us the peak in the middle, then I will get uh, lastly, who? Asimwe. Uh, Asimwe Elo. Okay, I'm going to see another person. Yes, Melan. Yes, teacher. In which district are you? W Wakiso. You are in Wakiso. In the middle, which plant is this? May you help us to identify? Orange. 
Melan, what is this plant? An orange plant. Very good. This is an orange plant. May you please spell for us the word orange? O R A. Go ahead. May you please repeat it? O R A N G E. Correct. That is orange in singular, then plural form. We have oranges. Be taking note of the colors. Tomatoes are red. Oranges are at this stage. When they have ripened, they turn to yellow. But when they are not yet ripe, they are green. Then lastly, we have this peak. What is this? We learned about it. Let me get someone here. here. Um, I need a boy. Let me check. Do I have a boy here? Matovu. Yes, Matovu. Mm -hmm. May you please tell us which peak, I mean, which plant is this? That is a pumpkin. Wonderful. This is a pumpkin. So, Matovu. I need to ask you one more question about a pumpkin. Yeah. Inside, how does a pumpkin look? What is the color of a pumpkin? Yeah, it is yellow. Wonderful. Thank you so much. In which district are you? I'm in Kampala district. Wow, this is so great. Thank you so much. May you please, okay, let me get one more person here to spell for us the word pumpkin. I need to get to blessing. Blessing, uh, oh, no, no, blessing, sorry. Let me get, let me get. Um, oh, I can't see new people. Oh, Kyla, there is Kyla, Kyra Linda. I think you are also new. I need to give you this opportunity. Yes, Kyla. Hello, yes. Yes, I would like you to spell for us the word pumpkin. P. Yes. I. P. I. N. K. I. N. Pumpkin. Thank you for trying that it's not correct. I request you, I give you one more opportunity. We are spelling the word pumpkin. May you spell it once more? Kyra. Kyra. P. I. P. U. M. K I N pumpkin. Okay, thank you for trying. You only missed out another P. The word is pumpkin. It is P U M P K I N. The word is pumpkin. Thank you so much, Kyra, for trying. So, friends, here we are. Those are some of the common plants that we can talk about today. We have only 11 minutes left. And in this time, allow me talk about the structure, then we get the activity to write down. So the sentence structure says, what color is dash dash? Oh, what, what color are dash dash? When answering, we shall say, it is dash dash. Oh, they are dash dash in case they are many. Let me give an example. Here we have this. What is that at first? That is millet. So what color is millet? What color is millet? So we shall answer by saying it is brown. Are you saying it is brown? Friends, take note of this. What color is millet? It is brown. Then we shall have this 
with you. I need here two people. I have Precious is going to tell us. Precious, look at the first one. That is maize. I request you to unmute and tell us what color is maize. Precious. Green. Green. Very good. It is green. How do we say, begin by saying, it is green. What color is maize? It is green. It is green. That is wonderful. Another person is going to tell us this one is the ball. And that is now Alvin. Alvin is going to tell us what color is, uh, what color are oranges? Because these are more than one. What color are oranges? Alvin. Yes. Yes. When looking at these oranges, what color are they? Say they, they are, are orange. No, we are talking about the color. Alvin, which color is that? Color orange. Hmm, the color of oranges you are seeing. Are they green? Are they yellow? Are they red? What color are they? Orange. Hmm. We are talking about the color now. What color are they? Hey, now it's a big question. We need someone to help. We need someone to help us here. Alvin is not managing to answer the question. Let me get another boy to help. That is Balirwa Ryan. Yes, Balirwa. Yes, teacher. What color are oranges? Oranges are color orange. Okay, thank you. Then it means I was not getting you very well what my friend Alvin was telling me. Now teacher, I yes, teacher, Alvin. Yes. teacher, can yes, I pray right. a closing prayer on Thursday? On Thursday, Thursday yes. tomorrow, teacher Didas will be teaching. Uh, you will raise your hand and let him know about it, okay? Okay. For me, we shall meet once again on Monday at night. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Raphael, for requesting to pray. Alvin, I guess I've got you. Your answer was also correct, only that it wasn't in the full sentence. So when you are asked what color are oranges, we can say they are orange. Hmm, their name came from their color. Okay, though at times some of them <laughs> appear to be yellow. So I will mark both correct. Now friends, in the remaining seven minutes, allow me give you this activity is what I'm much interested. We did not write the other, in case you want to write it, this work is already uploaded on the Google Classroom. So you can download, don't you draw the pictures, just to write what you may need from there. But me, I'm interested in this activity because it is the one I'm going to mark. So you can write from here, then answer correctly and turn in. Still, it is already uploaded on the Google Classroom. You can just get there and find this work. Write in your book, then you do what? You turn in for marking. I'm so glad to have you live in this lesson. And the, in the next six minutes, we shall be ending our lesson. I don't think I have parents with issues. I think I should give an opportunity to some parents here. So it means I first lower all your hands down to get to know that this is a parent learners don't raise your hands up when i lower your hand please leave it down i need to hear from parents okay let me give that opportunity also to some parents here 
If you can lower your hand, lower it, as I also try here. Mm. Don't raise your hands. I need only parents. The parents wait to raise because we are trying to see how we can lower all the hands. I want only parents. Okay, learners don't raise up. So all hands are down. A lot to, a lot to, you are unmuted. May you please talk to me. Um, still, I know some of you have issues to do with the quiz we had in Literacy 2 on Monday. Allow me to communicate about this if this is the point you need to put up. The quizzes we had on Monday in Literacy 2, somewhere there was a slight problem. Yeah, so it was marking even your correct answers as wrong. I'm much aware of this. I believe you put in the correct answers, but that one was a minor error, which was then, which was done in the settings. So next time, everything is going to be fine. Don't talk about that. Now talk about something new. If you did not join Google Classroom, uh, the link is shared. Yes, echo. My parents are not there. They'll come back at night. Okay, then still uh, no problem with that. I just need to talk to a parent. If a parent is there, and only a parent who has something to say. If you I'm going to allow if you have nothing to say, please leave your hand down. I need parents. Eva. Jeva, Eva. Eva. Yes. I need a parent. Is the parent there? The parent. Is the parent there? No. Okay, leave your hands mm -hmm. down. If the parent is not there, please leave the hands down. Yes, Miss Alvin. In the in in the quizzes, I need the parents, please. Each of the quizzes I've told you there was an error in the settings. Yes, Angel, Emily Angel. This time it is for parents. The parent of Emily Angel. Okay, no, no, no. The parent of Nanono, may I hear from you? Nanono, I can't hear you. The parent of Nanono. Okay. If you've come back again, let me hear if you're a parent. I need to hear from you. Eva. Eva. Yes, please. Yes, please. May I hear from you? Any concern? No. Then don't raise your hand, please. I need the parents. I know some parents are there. They have issues to raise. Let me hear from Sally. Noela Poza. Sally. Sally, are you there? Oh, unfortunately, this time I have not managed to hear from parents. I hope everything is well. I congratulate you on that. So, friends, we have come to the end of our lesson. We have only one minute to go and allow me to, if this lesson was made possible with the funding from Edify Uganda. Edify Uganda is the one that is funding this program. The website is down there. You can log in, take a screenshot of this page. You can check on the website of Edify Uganda for more information. This program was organized by the Christian School Owners Association 
and the website is down there. You can log into the website of Christian Owners, Christian School Owners Association Uganda, and you get to learn a lot of the, of their services. Lastly, this program is implemented by the ITAU, that is ICT Teachers Association of Uganda. The website is also down there. Take a screenshot. You will read there yes, during your free time. So we are going to have our closing yes, prayer, teacher. which is going to be uh, led by Makai Matthew. So Makai, I have asked you to please lead us in the closing prayer. Unmute. Oh Lord, thank you for today and thank you for our teachers. Thank you for also our, our yeah. friends who are there learning. Thank you all. Amen. 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 Now, friends, I've worked with Mr. Mono Mike, my admin. I request you to unmute yourselves and say bye bye to us. We've worked as the bye -bye, team. Bye bye, Bye. 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 Bye.